So I used to sell, like, fix and sell second-hand clothes at a market to put myself through uni. And I met this incredible woman called Rosie Cross. And I think everyone always has a great mentor story, but she honestly was mine. So she set up something called Geek Girl. It was a magazine and a website very, very early on in the first year of the internet. And it was celebrating women who, ha who were doing amazing things in tech. We used to go online into chat rooms. Everyone was a man. If they were a woman, they were a man pretending to be a woman. <laughs> you never heard about any of the amazing developers or engineers or writers or cultural theorists that are thinking about what digital technology could do. I'd seen one issue of her magazine, and this is just where fate kind of took over. She went, you're, you know, you're now on board. So it was really, it was the two of us uh, producing a monthly magazine and this website and animations and interviews and she did a lot of the content and then I was the creative director. So. The best creative thinkers and makers aren't in agencies anymore anyway. You know, they could be freelancers or they could have set up their own shop or they might be part of the maker culture or they might have gone to Google or Facebook or whatever, but I think that's the way that jobs are going. And so you can't rely on the fact that you're going to get the very best person they're going to be within your agency. That's incredibly arrogant. Have fun with what you do and don't take the job too seriously. I think what we can do for women is making sure they feel like they are worth it. it sounds silly, but you know, you are worth a career that you enjoy.